I heard an emotional case this morning. You know, living apart is often a huge stress on a marriage, particularly when a couple starts off young. Growing apart was an issue for the couple who came to see me in court today. Divorce court is now in session. I have Jennifer Jacobs and Dennis Alsop here. They have been together for 10 years. You have two children together, but you, especially Ms. Jacobs, do not want to be together anymore. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today in divorce court? For the past 10 years, um, it's been a little um, rocky. Um, we've been off and on for the last uh, 10 years, and um, I just think he doesn't have respect for me. Um, and he doesn't appreciate me, and, um... Tell me something that he does or says that leads you to believe he doesn't respect you. He'll tell me to um, get in the kitchen and cook some food or um, go make him dinner or... It's because just... I pay all the bills. Okay. Mr. Alsop, please. Whoa. Okay. It doesn't matter if you pay all the bills. Okay. You that... still need to have respect. Is it the request itself or the manner in which he makes the it? The manner he says it in. Like, get um, in the kitchen, woman. Kind of, <laughs> I mean, not in those words, but is that the, the, the tenor of the to, conversation? He portrays it like that, yes. yes. Okay. Are you a stay-at-home mom to the two kids? Just recently, Your Honor. Um, I had left my job of 10 years to uh -huh. move with him at his request um, so I can go back to school full-time. Um, finish my um, degree and mm -hmm. then take care of the, the children. Well, when, when you were both working, were you working full time? I was. And was he speaking to you in that manner when you were pulling in an income as well? Mm, he would. That's just his demeanor. Or has it gotten worse since? It, I think it's gotten worse. Okay. Mr. Mr. Alsop, what, what do you have to say about that? Did, did she get that wrong? Oh, yeah, she definitely got it wrong because for the simple fact, we had an agreement. Uh -huh. When she moved down with me, because she was at a dead end job. Okay. There was no, there was Ms. no Jacobs? part for growth in her job. And if something was to ever happen to me with her being the mother of my kids, I wanted her to be able to take care of the kids and be comfortable doing mm -hmm. it. So I told Ms. Jacobs, move down to Tucson with me. I'll work. I'll take care of all the outside stuff, all the bills, everything. You don't have to worry about anything. Well, that was our agreement. Well, we get down there, I'm working full time. I come home, attend to my kids, do all the sports activities, but my house isn't clean, food isn't cooked. And I'm like, how do I win a situation? You're, you're lying. The house isn't clean, food <laughs> isn't cooked. And I'm like, if I say something, I'm a bad guy. But if I don't say nothing, nothing's going to get done. So it's like a no-win situation with her. Mm -hmm. She's not happy when I do it. It's my... Uh, my, my question for you is, and, and not stop there, Mr. Alsop. You just saw me get ready to speak, and you stop. I love that. Um, <laughs> since she's been to Tucson, has she had a job, or has solely... Has she, her only she job is to take, hold down the hold house. Hold down the house. That's all you do. You don't pay for gas. You don't pay for school clothes. You don't pay for the kids' haircut. You don't do anything. Take now, care of the house. Now, Ms. Jacobs, are you taking care of the house while he's gone? I running after children all day. I, you know, picking up after a two-year-old. It's a lot. I do try to pick up the house, clean the house up. Um, now, listen, right. I've had children, I and they it. were five and two at some point. I get it. And I know how to, and I know, everybody got fed, and I was working full time. Everybody got fed, and the house was clean. Well, <laughs> we won't go that far, <laughs> but it was cool. Right. You know what right. I mean? It, children are an excuse not right. to hold and the that's house all down. It's she not does messy. is making an excuse. There could with be... the, all the kids Hang are this on, Mr. Alsop, let her yeah. respond to my question. Yes, thank you. Um, if a toy or here, a toy here or there would be on the ground, why isn't my house cleaned up? What do you do all day? Now, let me ask you this. Is it basically taken care of and simply not perfect? Are there a lot of things done, but you're only focusing on the things that aren't done? Sometimes that happens. I come home, Your Honor, and I'll see clothes in the washer that was in the washer from two days ago. And I'm like, you don't smell these clothes getting mildewed. You're lying. 
All right, I I'll tell you an incident that happened last week. Okay. I'll be fast. I had clothes. I woke up in the morning to go to work. I had no socks in my drawer. So I go to the dryer. I look in the dryer, I grab some socks. Come back home that day, the same stuff that was in the dryer is still there. Next day, it's still in there. So eventually, I just took it out and did a load of clothes right before I went to work. And then that made her want to get up and do something. If I don't do something, she won't do it, period. Ms. Jacobs, is that, is that, a, is that you know an accurate what? story? He's given me certain hours to where I can wash clothes. It's so. utility prices. Bills ain't cheap. I'm not getting up at 4 hang in the morning on, to hang do on, laundry. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What do you, what, oh, so certain hours during yes. the day. It's between... called peak hours. Mm -hmm. so right, certain right. hours, it costs a lot more. And when you run in a house and you're taking care of everything, you're going to find every way to be cost effective, every way you can. Yeah, yeah. You know what I think is happening here? Just, just, just off the top of my head. We're going to examine this a little more, but off the top of my head. What I'm saying is I think you are a little lazy and you don't quite have it together. And I think you are in, as intimidating as all get out. I think that when you come home and you hone in on something that hasn't been done or gone correctly, you are livid and loud and aggressive and intimidating. And you know what happens when you do that? The person to whom all of that anger is directed becomes, you know, a little passive aggressive with it. You know what I mean? Yes, ma'am. Yelling, hooping, and hollering, and screaming. You could step up a little bit. You know that, right? Right. Yeah, you but know it makes you me could not do want better. To do it when he comes home and talks to me like that. I can't say that about the bills. Yeah. I can't say it makes me not want to pay the bills it's when you. It's been two months. It's been since longer you've been paying the bills. Did, I've been taking care of you since day one. Did, 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 You're alive. did you hear what I said, though? Yes, ma'am, I definitely did. What did I say? You said, when I come home, I pinpoint things and I get real angry and I get aggressive if they're not done how I want them done. Yeah, and that is counterproductive to you. I acknowledge that she's probably not pulling her full weight, but I'm just saying the manner by which you're pursuing your it. goal is probably hindering it. That's all I'm trying to say. You leave me while I'm pregnant and she That's better so... for you that I left, because if I wouldn't have left, I, I explain why. I explain Mr. why Mr. Also, Mr. Also, Mr. Also. Divorce isn't easy. If you need help with your breakup, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mrs. Jacobs, I get, I get the sense that you're harboring some old hurts. Uh, you said to us that he left you once when you were four months pregnant. Why don't you tell me about that and why it's still on your mind? Um, when I was, um, found out I was pregnant, um, about the fourth month, I had gone on a family vacation to Hawaii. Um, Mr. Also went to Detroit to try out for the Detroit Lions. Um, after that, he went back home to Ohio, um, and never came back. Never discussed that he wasn't returning. Take your time. I hold a lot of resentment for that. Um, he came back the day after my son was born. So he was gone for a couple of months? Four months till he was born. Okay. Mr. Alsop, what happened then? Well, in the first six years of me and Mrs. Jacobs' relationship, she made me feel like I didn't even deserve to be with somebody. Like How's she, that? she pushed me away. I got no emotion from her whatsoever. And yes, I did leave because Ms. Jacobs pushed me to that point where there was no, I, I felt no love. I had no family out in Arizona at the time. The only reason I was there was because I was with her. She pushed me away far, like, beyond the point to new return. What, g give me some examples of what, what, what she was not doing or was she not talking she to you talk there's no me. sex, she there's would, no communication? We wouldn't have sex. We wouldn't do anything like that. It, it got to the point so bad one time when she was pregnant with my son, like we're, we're sitting there having a conversation. She goes, locks herself in the car for six hours, yelling, kicking at the door. And I'm like, 
what do you want me to do? Like, I, I do everything you ask me to do. It's a no-win situation with her. Do you recall the incidents where you locked yourself in the car? I do, but okay. it wasn't six hours. Well, it, okay, we were arguing. Let's, let's not argue about the, right, the time right. spent in the car. Let's, right. let's figure out why you were there. Right. <laughs> Why? What happened that that made you do that? You no, know I'm. I, I don't recall. I think we were probably she talking. And, stop. Go ahead. Um, we were probably uh, talking and gonna get into an argument. I just didn't want to deal with it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So you lock yourself in a car while you're pregnant? How smart is well, that? Well, you leave me while I'm pregnant and she. That's better so... for you that I left because if I wouldn't have left, I, I explain why. I explain this, this, why Alsop, it's better. Mr. Alsop, Mr. Alsop, Mr. Alsop. Ooh. I'll explain why. I'm See? getting a lot of heat from over this side of the room. Yes, ma'am. And, and even when you get on anywhere near a topic that upset you from before, you get just as upset again. And if I were to back up and leave you alone, you would I'm, turn I'm into a tornado. I'm upset right now. I'm telling you exactly <laughs> why I did it. Because I'd rather leave a situation like that when I know she has my child in her and for her to keep stressing out, that's not good for my child. I was going to come back for my child no matter what. Mr. Mr. Elsa, but wouldn't it have been best for her? It's stressful to be pregnant, uh -huh. and the guy you pregnant by just dips. Yep. You don't know she... where... Hang yes, on. Just dips, and you don't have that support. You don't have... You don't know where he is. You don't know if he's coming back. That is extraordinarily stressful on the mother of your baby. Exactly. Respond she to that. She didn't know that, but she knew every... She knew my whereabouts. I would call Miss Jacobs while I was back home. She would ignore me, text me, oh, you don't need to be in your child. You're never going to see your child. You don't need to be in your child's life. What was the underlying issues you two had that, that, that made it so contentious that you felt you needed to leave? She wasn't happy. She was never happy. And how can you want to be around somebody that's never happy? It's like she made me, like I said, she made me feel like I was nothing to her. So, therefore... Well, let me ask you, let me back up, back up, back up, back, back, back up. When you first met, I mean, why did you, you had two children with her, so you, you, you had yeah, to kind of like her at a moment. Yeah, I like her sometimes. So, so, so even when minutes. you met her, when you first dating, was she just uh, a, a perpetually dissatisfied and unhappy person? Ms. Jacob, exactly. was that a little bit of it? That you thought this cat might be in the NFL and you got on that ride? No, it wasn't even about That's that. Exactly, it, wasn't, it happens. It's exactly it happen. what happened, Your Honor. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. So was she perpetually dissatisfied and happy early on in your relationship? Yes and no. <laughs> and I, I know that sounds crazy, but when I first met her, Miss Jacobs had all her own. She had her own place, had her car, everything. I was young when I met her. I was in college going wild, so I was appalled by that. And another... You were appalled by... Not appalled. Well, I, I would... That intrigued me about her. Oh, okay. Okay. I you found she, it appealing. Yeah, yeah I yeah. found it appealing that she, she was a little older, had all her own stuff. Well, Miss J... That's usually not a good criteria for a relationship. I'm just saying. She's at, older but, and she at, got at all her age, own stuff. How, how old... How, at my age that I was, I was young. Yeah, I so, understand that, but even you know, when you're young, that's not good criteria. Well, growing up where I'm from, if you, you don't never see too many people with something. Mm -hmm. So when you do see somebody with something, it's almost like you're a deer in headlights, like, wow. And that's how I felt. <laughs> at first, I was like, okay, but it wasn't that at all. So you're disappointed that, that you, you, you dug in a mine that didn't produce yes, as much I gold as you meant? Oh, I felt like I got I tricked. Got wow. Yes. I felt like I got tricked by her. No. Wow, do you mean that to... you went after her for her money? No, and now it you... wasn't money. She didn't have money. She had her stuff together. Yeah, but you went after her because she had her stuff. But when you found out you didn't have no. her, she didn't have all the stuff, stuff you together. thought she had. You felt tricked. No, but that, that's any. But when your daddy told you, when you find a man, make sure he got his stuff together. She had her stuff together, so that's what don't I was attracted to. Don't talk about my to. father. You don't no, know what I'm he told. No, uh, -uh. no, no, no. He said go to Harvard. Period. He ain't talk about nothing else. So you don't don't, don't go there. Don't, 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 don't go there. Well, don't I, go there. Yes, ma'am. 
I mean, when a woman does that, they call her a gold digger, and they have all kinds of nasty, rude comments to say about it. No. And now, oh, yeah. It's a, no, it's a gold digger when you're going after somebody for their money. I wasn't going after her for her money or anything. She didn't we have... were going after her for her stuff, but until no, you realize her parents had the stuff and no, not her. It, it had nothing to do with the stuff. It had. She was. She looked from the outside looking in. I was taking like care of myself. Like she was going on the right path. No, you were I not. I was. I was working two jobs. No. Taking care of my you son. You weren't taking care of your stuff. What your were you doing? Dad, okay. Look at me now. Ten years later. Okay. Okay. At the wow. time. Hey, 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 hey! Let's stop this. Let's stop this. Ms. Jacobs, were you perpetually unhappy when you met him? At first, no. Um, mm -hmm. The situation, he, um, at the time, I, I, when I met him, I was living on my own with my son. Uh, for certain reasons, I had to move back with my parents. Um, he eventually moved in with me and my parents. He wasn't working at the time. Um, so I didn't I... work for a three-month period okay. while I was training for football, and you were so riled around it, thinking that I was the golden ticket. No. Ms. Jacob, exactly was true. that a little bit of it, that you thought this cat might be in the NFL and you got on that ride? No, it wasn't even about That's that. Exactly, it, wasn't... it happens. It's exactly it happen. what happened, Your Honor. Shh. It happens. In divorce court, couples tell me everything about their relationships. Want to share your experience? Join the conversation on our Twitter page at Divorce Court. On Facebook, check out other fans and their intimate issues. You know everybody has something to say about love. What's on your mind? I think both of you have ample reason to be angry with the other one. I think everybody got used a little bit. I think everybody uh, got into the relationship for the wrong reasons a little bit. I think you did try to turn her around and do the right thing and bring her down to Tucson. I think you may be a little depressed or something. You may have some emotional issues there that you're, that you're dealing with. It is difficult living with somebody who has, who's, 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 who's unhappy. We don't know what the situation is. She may be depressed. It may be circumstantial. I don't know. You, you moved down to Tucson. It's hot down there and she don't know anybody. <laughs> I don't know what happened. You know, I, when, I know when I first moved to Arizona, I got depressed for a little while because it was just, you know, you couldn't go outside. And start, I don't know what, I didn't know anybody. I don't know what it is. But can I ask you this? For the sake of your children, put a period on all of that upset and that anger and what happened yesterday and what she didn't do and what she can't clean and become a kinder, gentler individual. Because whatever chaos you create under her feet will rock the foundation of your children. And you too much man to do that. Do you understand what I'm saying? I believe, and as loud as you get and as angry as you get, I still think you're a reasonable person. I really do. You're frustrated, but remember, frustration and anger, all of that is just emotion. You say she's emotional depressed, you're just as emotional as she is. Emotions <laughs> can be handled. Anger can be handled a lot easier than the depression. So you handle your business, and you go see somebody. I want you to be happy. I want you to feel like, like getting up and taking care of yourself and your kids and, and, and going forward with your life, with or without him. I want you to feel good about yourself. And I don't think you do. I think you feel beat up by him. I think you feel beat up by life. And maybe that's what's beating you down. But whatever it is, get, get in there and build it back up. And don't you make it hard for her to do. Do you understand? Because yes, you both have to parent those kids. I wish you both the best. This matter is adjourned. <laughs> anger is a feeling. Displaying anger is a choice. No matter how you feel, you do have the capacity to behave better, especially when it's for your kids.